Web development is a rapidly evolving field, and there are many excellent books available to help you learn and master various aspects of web development, from front-end to back-end development, and everything in between. My first preferred book is HTML and CSS, Design and Build Websites by John Duckett. A full-color introduction to the basics of HTML and CSS from the publishers of works. Every day, more and more people want to learn HTML and CSS. Joining professional web designers and programmers are new audiences who need to know a little bit of code at work, and those who want to make their personal blogs more attractive. Many books teaching HTML and CSS are dry and only written for those who want to become programmers, which is why this book takes an entirely new approach. The writers say that programming books can often look rather intimidating and uninspiring, but they do not need to be. We wanted to redesign the tech book and make it more accessible, relevant, and attractive to a whole new group of readers. The result is a book that feels more like a magazine is enjoyable to flick through, and looks like it belongs in the graphic design section rather than the programming section of a bookstore. Whether you want to design and build websites from scratch or take more control over an existing site, this book will help you create attractive, user-friendly web content. We understand that code can be intimidating, but take a look inside, and you will see how this guide differs from many traditional programming books. Each page introduces a new topic in a simple, visual way with straightforward explanations, accompanied by bite-sized code samples. You will also find practical help with how to organize and design the pages of your site, so that you can create websites that look stunning and are easy to use. No previous experience is needed. To them, I say the web has always been backwards compatible. Everything in it is still valid code and the explanation still relevant. This book is how we should be teaching HTML and CSS. You will learn the language and understand how and why elements, tags, and selectors work the way they do. I really hope the author does a new edition. But even if he doesn't, these things are still valid and thoroughly explained in a way that's digestible and memorable. You won't find large blocks of text here. It is packed with visual examples that will give you the language to thoroughly understand each building block. I would recommend it to students or anyone who considers themselves visual learners or needs to see concrete examples. My second preferred book is Eloquent JavaScript by Marriage and Haberbiki. JavaScript lies at the heart of almost every modern web application, from social apps like Twitter, to browser-based game frameworks like Phaser and Babylon. Though simple for beginners to pick up and play with, JavaScript is a flexible, complex language that you can use to build full-scale applications. This much-anticipated and thoroughly revised third edition of Eloquent JavaScript dives deep into the JavaScript language to show you how to write beautiful, effective code. It has been updated to reflect the current state of JAVA script in web browsers, and includes brand new material on features like class notation, arrow functions, iterators, async functions, template strings, and block scope. A host of new exercises have also been added to test your skills and keep you on track. As with previous editions, Haverbiki continues to teach through extensive examples and immerses you in code from the start. While exercises and full chapter projects give you hands-on experience with writing your own programs, you start by learning the basic structure of the JavaScript language, as well as control structures, functions, and data structures to help you write basic programs. Then you'll learn about error handling and bug fixing, modularity, and asynchronous programming before moving on to web browsers and how JavaScript is used to program them. My third preferred book is PHP and Miskel, Server-Side Web Development. This book was written by John Duckett. 
John Duckett is the worldwide best-selling author of HTML and CSS, design and build websites in JavaScript and Chwari, interactive front-end web development. His books have sold more than 400,000 copies in English and been translated into 10 languages. His nicer way to learn features a high visual breakdown of code and concepts. Lifehacker called JavaScript and Chwari, the most elegant, visually engaging book you can learn JavaScript from. When he's not writing best-selling books, John has spent the last 15 years designing and building websites for companies ranging from small startups to globally recognized brands. Learn PHP, the programming language used to build sites like Facebook, Wikipedia and WordPress, and discover how these sites store information in a database. Miskel and use the database to create web pages. This full-color book is packed with inspiring code examples, infographics, and photography that not only teach you the PHP language and how to work with databases, but also show you how to build new applications from scratch. To show you how to apply the skills you learn, you will build a complete content management system, enhanced with features that are commonly seen on social networks. Written by best-selling HTML and CSS and JavaScript and Chwari author John Duckett, this book uses a unique visual approach with step-by-step -step instructions, practical code examples and pro tips that will teach you how to build modern database-driven websites using PHP. PHP runs on web servers and allows websites to customize pages for each individual visitor using content stored inside a MISCL database. The simple, visual explanations and bite-sized code examples in this book will make it easy for you to develop websites using PHP and MISCL, allow visitors to register as members, create and edit articles, upload images, manage profiles, comment on or like posts, and more PHP and MISCL. Allow visitors to register as members, create and edit articles, upload images, manage profiles, comment on or like posts, and more. On Duckett, thank you so much for writing the book that will change my life. I loved my early reading of this book so much that I had to buy two more copies for my mentees. Instead of John dedicating about 300 pages to PHP and MISCL like the last guy, I won't name him as a quick PHP search on Amazon would reveal him. He wisely and courageously dedicated almost 700 pages. This is not only the best PHP and MISCL book out there, this is the best programming book in the world, period. Take that from someone who has spent thousands of dollars in the last six years trying to look for programming language instruction that is expertly written from an educational standpoint. Albert Einstein once said, if you can't explain it to a six-year-old, you don't understand it yourself. 99% of the programming language boot camps, books, training manuals, and websites cannot explain what they teach to six-year-olds. They do not meet the KISS keep it simple, stupid test necessary for educators. A six-year-old can understand what John is teaching in this book. There is a dearth of educators in the programming education world. You hardly have anyone with an education degree teaching programming, which becomes apparent in the lack of standardization in what they teach. John's PHP book is heavily researched and detailed, unbelievably simple, and wonderfully designed. Do yourself a favor and read what this man who shies away from publicity has thoughtfully, generously, and meticulously written. My last preferred book is the Web Application Hacker's Handbook, Finding and Exploiting Security Flaws. The highly successful security book returns with a new edition, and completely updated web applications are the front door to most organizations, exposing them to attacks that may disclose personal information execute fraudulent transactions, or compromise ordinary users. This practical book has been completely updated and revised to discuss the latest step-by-step -step techniques for attacking and defending the range of ever-evolving web applications. You'll explore the various new technologies employed in web applications that have appeared since the first edition and review the new attack techniques that have been developed particularly in relation to the client side reveals how to overcome the new technologies and techniques aimed at defending web applications against attacks that have appeared since the previous edition, discusses new remoting frameworks, HTML5, cross-domain integration techniques, UI redress, frame-busting, HTTP parameter pollution, hybrid file attacks, and more features a companion website hosted by the authors that allows readers to try out the attacks described, gives answers to the questions that are posed at the end of each chapter, and provides a summarized methodology and checklist of tasks, focusing on the areas of web application security, where things have changed in recent years.
This book is the most current resource on the critical topic of discovering, exploiting, and preventing web application security flaws. This book offers tons of techniques and strategies for attacking and defending web applications. The beginning chapters discuss the major components of websites and their vulnerabilities. The middle of the book gets much more specific, showing hack steps for different components like the client side, sessions, databases, and authentication. Sections about custom code development show how you can develop your own solution to probe a web app. There were code examples in different languages such as JavaScript. C++, Java, and Ask.net. The authors highlight many kinds of tools you can use to learn more about a website, including a product they developed themselves called Burp Suite. For readers interested in testing the techniques, there is a website offered by the book, but it costs $7 an hour to play around on the site. This fee is for keeping the website running apparently, but I thought it would make more sense to have a monthly fee. I did not subscribe to this site myself though because I was more interested in getting a broad overview of website security. The book is showing its 2011 publication date in some places. For example, IE and Firefox are said to be the dominant browsers, while Chrome is a minor player. Additionally, Flash and Silverlight are spoken of as being components of many websites. One issue was I was not really sure which techniques might be outdated, and which are still relevant. 